Well, how's it going, everybody? I thought I would do my uh, four and a half year update on my uh, solar setup here. Um, I still have my very first Harbor Freight charge controller is still right there with the old Harbor Freight Jupiter 10,000 watt inverter. And I've got it connected to basically a car battery because all I use that system for is charging these batteries. I don't use this inverter for anything else. I'm using this inverter here to run the garage lights, which I have up here. And I've got this plug here going to this refrigerator, which I've had for about three years. You can tell how dirty it is out here in the garage. All I use it for are ice packs to run my uh, laser over here. And it runs 24 seven. And let's see what else I got going on. Uh, this plug here, a piece of Romex going into this breaker. This breaker is connected to Romex coming out the back. You can see it right there going into that conduit, which goes, comes out right there, turns and goes into the house back there somewhere. And I have an emergency plug that I put behind my refrigerator. So when the power goes out or if it ever goes out, which it has before and I've tested it, I've got a video on that and I can run my refrigerator. And I'm on a 24 volt system, which I'm using two uh, marine batteries here. These have been sitting here for about two years. Um, they've been doing pretty good. Haven't really had any problems with them. 24 volt power inverter my 3215BN charge controller. Uh, it's been really great with the uh, MT50. I've got this little cooling fan that I put on here. During the summer, this can get really, really hot. And I've come out of the output, which is now 24 volt. It used to be 12 volt, but since it's 24 volt, I had to get a uh, 12 volt voltage regulator right here. And then I use this uh, power transistor to run the uh, to run the fan because that's a 12 volt fan. All I got to do is get a 24 volt fan, but what's the fun in that when I could make this? And this controls it. This is a little temperature sensor I got off Amazon, and the little sensor thing goes right there. I just sort of have it setting in there, and when this reaches the tip, oh, see it just clicked on right now. This little fan spinning this gets really warm and that just blows air down on top of here and keeps all this cool and uh, yeah that's my little setup um, let's see if I can show you the panels it hasn't changed any you'll have to excuse my mess we've got a lot of chickens and whatnot running around yeah there's some over there hiding, trying to stay cool in the shade. Let's see if I can get a picture here. You can still see the Harbor Freight panels. And I've got some, uh, some uh, panels I got from Amazon, 100 watt panels there at the top. And there's the old turbine that's there for looks because it does absolutely nothing. Don't buy one of those unless you want to feel uh, fill up a whole field full of them. You can get about 12 watts a piece out of it. That's about all I got out of it. And very high winds. I've just let everything grow up around it now. It's got a tree growing next to it. And it's just there for looks. I can look out the window and see what the wind speed is for the day. That's about it. That's a voltage meter. This is the voltage coming in. I got this breaker here. This separates the solar coming in this will shut the solar completely off uh, you can see i've got 86 volts coming in so all i gotta do is i flip that breaker off the panel voltage is right there sitting at about 100 volts and as you can see it's dead now there's nothing coming in i don't know what the two volts is for it's always reading a little bit of something but you can see there's no charge coming in turn it back on and then you'll see it's peaking up about 102 volts 
and then it'll start charging again here in just a second. It'll show it right here. So I got 24 volts uh, system there. That's about it. I haven't changed anything. It's been running just fine. Like I said, this is going on just over four years and it's not fancy. It just does what I want it to do. Uh, me and my wife plan on getting some land someday somewhere and this is a great way of learning how all this works So I'll know how to build one much larger, but for the little things I use it for it's great and I highly recommend this charge control uh, with this MT50 it's It's the best one I've used so far, but anyway, that's my little setup Just wanted to do a quick update and uh, thanks for watching